Hi, my name is Stephen Collins, and uh, I'm going to rant about golf course etiquette right now. So, I guess there's two ways you can see anything, really. And uh, I see golf as a nice way to get outside for a few hours and enjoy the day. It's a nice sunny day. Why not get out there and golf? And some see it as another way just to go uh, and goof around, maybe play around the golf course and drink too much or whatever it may be. So that bothers me just a little bit. So. In the following minutes here, I'm just going to discuss a few things that uh, are poor etiquette on the course, and they bother a lot of golfers, not just me specifically. So, one of the smaller things that people do is they'll, they'll walk in my putting line. So what that means is I have my ball in the hole there, and the route would be my line to the hole. And what people do is, to get to their ball, they'll walk across my line. Now, what you should do, the easier thing to do really, is just see what my ball is, see where the hole is, and either take that route around or just come around this way. And people don't do that. And that's just, it's a little ridiculous is all. Now, another thing I've seen on just about every course I've played are, uh, are divots in the fairway. So that's just caused by uh, what people do is they'll take their swing and they'll maybe take more ground than golf ball and they'll take a a chunk of ground like that and they'll fly 20 yards forward. Now what they should do after that is go and pick that chunk of ground up, come back, place it, stomp on it, and move on. That way the next guy doesn't come in, have his ball land right in the middle of your divot, and then have to try and hit out of that. Because that's just it's absurd. It's almost impossible to hit out of those divots effectively. Now one thing that bothers me on the golf course is the pace at which people play. Some guys get out there and they'll take one practice swing, smoke the ball, ready to play. They call that ready golf. That's the kind of golf everyone should really play. Other guys will take uh, an average Sunday as a practice round and they'll take 14, 15 practice swings. And it's absurd. It takes them 60, 90 seconds maybe to finish a shot. And that's just way too long of a day. I know my rule in our family is two practice swings maximum, and then you hit your ball. That's barring a ridiculous lie, of course, but that's just to keep up the pace of play. Because if, if you can get through a round of golf in three and a half, four hours, you absolutely want to. You don't want to sit there for five and a half or six hours. And uh, lastly, what bothers me is people not calling out four which means when they're on the tee and they hit their tee shot, it may come off the side of the face, and go right, and maybe onto another hole. Now, if you look over and you can see other people on that hole, you want to call four. That way, they know to look up, maybe duck if they have to, you can find a cart or a tree. Now, a lot of people don't do that. and. Uh, an example I have, so I was playing with some buddies and they were in the group behind me, and uh, the one guy hit a nice tee shot when I was uh, I was coming up onto the green, maybe 60 yards out, and they decided to hit. And a uh, beautiful tee shot bounced at my feet though, and then another 10 yards. And they didn't say anything, and I looked back and they were hooting and hollering and laughing. So I got mad, so I walked out to the golf ball whatever club was in my hand and I just smoked it as far out of bounds as I possibly could have. So I apologize because that wasn't the right thing to do and that there was poor course etiquette. But at least I picked up my divot and I apologized. I told him it was a nice shot. It's just too bad he's not going to get to play it. So that's my rant on uh, following course etiquette. Just be respectful and enjoy the day.